Hey YouTube, welcome back to Cross the Ditch NC. My name is Laura, glad to have you here today. Just wanted to show you a little something real quick. Um, just got home from work and was getting ready to water my plants since we haven't had rain in the past 24 hours. My tomato plants are needing just a little bit to drink because they are in pots and not in dirt. So they tend to dry out a little bit quicker and discovered three of my tomato plants don't exactly look very healthy. As a matter of fact, they're missing pretty much all their leaves and part of their stalks. Wonder why. All right, so here's a healthy, beautiful, slightly thirsty tomato plant, getting ready to give it a good drink of water. And the three tomato plants I'm getting ready to show you look like this just two short days ago. Now this is what they look like. They look like twigs. You wanna know what does that? That little guy right there. Can you see him? That is a hornworm. And they will wreak havoc on your tomato plants if you do not get them off and find them at, a, at an early stage and get them off of your plants. One of the best ways to do this is to go outside and check your plants on a regular basis. If you start seeing stem damage, such as this, Try to get that focused in, there we go. If you start seeing that, you're gonna wanna start looking for this guy. Try to get a good picture of him, there we go. Because if you don't find them soon, your tomato plants will look like that and, well, you won't have any more tomatoes. He is wreaking havoc on that leaf, y'all. So I'm going to use a cup to remove this guy from my tomato plant. That way he doesn't eat the rest of my tomato plants because I would like to have tomatoes for a little while longer. Um, hornworms are definitely a pest and you want to get them out of your garden if you find them. You can actually look for them with a black light at night because sometimes they're kind of hard to see, especially when they're smaller. They also like to eat pepper plants and eggplants as well so you definitely want to get him out of your garden so he doesn't wreak havoc on the entire garden doing a quick inspection of some of my other tomato plants up here in the front yard. Um, I see damage on a couple more of them and these are actually quite a little distance away from the ones that were pretty much annihilated. So it tells me either that hornworm was on this plant as well or I have another one. That plant is looking mighty rough. It's got some sickness. But one of the telltale signs that you have a hornworm is large gaping holes in your leaves or no leaves at all and it looks like twigs. One of the easiest ways to find horn, hornworms, because they are kind of hard to spot with the naked eye, is to come outside at nighttime with a black light. So when I get home from work tonight, we're gonna come outside, the kids and I, and we're gonna go hunting for her hornworms. There you go, ladies. ready to wage war on the hornworm. Yep. 
definitely coming outside with a black light tonight. Too many of my plants. I've been standing here for 10 minutes trying to find the one that's on this plant. And I can't find it. Hopefully the black light will find it. One of the easiest ways to hunt for hornworms is to use a black light. Look for them on the damaged plants and on the ones that are undamaged to hopefully prevent them from destroying the plant. That's how I got one on this plant too. If you find a hornworm, it will glow like a greenish white tint, depending upon how big it is. I'm not seeing one here. Well, we were unsuccessful in our hornworm hunt tonight. However, earlier today, I was able to find two of the hornworms that did damage in our front yard. Uh, we do have one tomato plant in the backyard that has some damage on it as well. But thankfully, everything else looks like it is untouched. I plan to go out the next few nights and continue hunting to see if I can find the other worm that is doing the damage in the backyard. So what do you do if you find hornworms on your tomato plants, peppers, eggplant, any of the nightshade plants? Um, pick them off, obviously. If you don't want to touch them with your hands, which I'm, I don't like touching bugs, um, you can use a container to pull them off or some tweezers. And then you can either feed them to your chickens if you have chickens, or you can drop them into a container of soapy water. How do you prevent hornworms in your garden, or at least reduce the likelihood of you having them? Um, since the larva um, is in the soil, you want to till your garden. That'll definitely, um, eat, at the beginning of each season, that'll definitely help kill off any larva that may be in there. Um, also, as much as I hate stinging bugs, wasp are good to have around when you have the hornworms. Um, other things you can do is use insecticides. However, I try to do my garden as organic as possible so I don't use chemical insecticides. I think I'm just going to stick to using my handy dandy black light and going and picking them off the plants and either feeding them to the chickens or, like I said earlier, dropping them in that bucket of soapy water. Thanks for joining me tonight. Sorry this was a last minute crazy little video. Um, I hope you'll come back and view the rest of the videos and any future videos I post. I hope you have a great evening and have a blessed night.